Good morning, students of class fourth. Students, I am sure all of you are happy and healthy. Students, in my last video, I had completed exercise A and B of lesson three, the blind man and the elephant, and I had started with exercise C, and I had explained and written the. first question and answer of the exercise c today i'll be continuing with the remaining questions so all of you please take out your english notebook and your wordsworth english reader book turn the page to page number 20 lesson 3 the blind man and the elephant students please take out your english notebook and your wordsworth english reader book turn the page to page number 20 as i'll be continuing with lesson 3 the blind man and the elephant students today i'm going to read the lesson for you revise exercise a and b and then continue with exercise c so all of you please listen to me as i read this lesson for you lesson 3 the blind man and the elephant once upon a time a wise man came to a village with his elephant The elephant's name was Gadju. It was very large and looked like a mountain. Many people came to see and touch him. Gadju was a tame animal, so no one was afraid of him. Four friends also came to see the elephant. As none of them had seen an elephant before, they were very eager to see one. However, Something was very different about the four friends. All of them were blind. The first one touched the elephant's leg and said, "The elephant is like a tree." The second person touched the tail of the elephant and said, "No, this elephant is like a rope." The third friend came and he touched the trunk of the elephant and opined, "You both are wrong. The elephant is like a snake." The fourth friend came forward and found the elephant's ear and said, "All of you are wrong. The elephant is very much like a fan." Thus, they all began to argue among themselves and started fighting. They all had their own views of what the elephant was like. Each of them thought that he was right. On seeing the friends fighting, the wise man came forward and told them. Dear friends each one of you is saying the right thing but when your views are put into contest then none of you is right because each one of you is describing only a part of the big animal how's that as the friends the wise man exclaimed explain the elephant's legs looks and feels like a pillar the tail is like a rope The trunk does feel like a snake, and the ears are like fans. You all should have pooled your information instead of arguing over who is right. The four friends realized their mistake and did as advised by the wise man. Thus, they were finally able to get a clear picture of the animal in their mind. They understood that one should examine a matter from all sides and only then give his or her opinion. Therefore we should not quarrel with others who have different opinions because everybody looks at things from different angle we should always appreciate other people's opinions this will go a long way in improving our relations with them now students this was the reading now let's revise exercise a that is answer the following question so the first question is who had brought the elephant to the village what was the elephant's name the answer is a wise man had brought the elephant to the village the elephant's name was gadju again i'm repeating the answer one a wise man had brought the elephant to the village the elephant's name was gadju question 2 why were the people afraid of the elephant answer to is Gadju was a tame animal so no one was afraid of him answer 2 Gadju was a tame animal so no one was afraid of him question 
What was different about the four friends? The answer is all of them were blind. Answer three is all of them were blind. Question fourth. Did the four friends describe the elephant in the same manner? Answer four. No, the four friends did not describe the elephant in the same manner. Answer four. No, the four friends did not describe the elephant in the same manner. Question five. What did the wise man tell the four friends? Answer is the wise man told the four friends that they should have pooled their information instead of arguing over who was right. Answer five. The wise man told the four friends that they should have pooled the information instead of arguing over who was right. Question six. What did the four friends realize finally? Answer for six is the four friends realized their mistake and did as advised by the wise man. Thus, they were finally able to get a clear picture of the animal in their mind. Again, I'm repeating answer six. The four friends realized their mistake and did as advised by the wise man. Thus, they were finally able to get a clear picture of the animal in their mind. Now, exercise B. Each blind man touched a different body part and formed an impression of the elephant. In the exercise given below, write the body part of the elephant that the blind man touched when he gave the following description. Now, all of you, please turn to page number 23 of your book and... It is like a tree. The first man, he touched the elephant's leg and he felt that it was like a tree. So over here, you will write the elephant's leg. Which part did the first man touch? The elephant's leg. So please write over here the elephant's leg. Then the second is, it's like a snake. Now this second, sorry, the third man, he had touched the trunk of the elephant. So, which part of the elephant's body? So, you please write over here, the elephant's trunk. The elephant's trunk. Then, it's like a rope. The second man had touched the elephant's tail. So, which part of the body? Please write over here, the elephant's tail. The elephant's tail is like a rope because it's very small and thin compared to the elephant's body. Now, the fourth is it's like a fan. The fourth blind man, he had touched the elephant's ear and he came to the conclusion that the elephant's ears were like a fan. So over here, please write the elephant's ear. Now, exercise C, I had written and explained the first question. So I would like to revise the first question and answer for you and then I'll be continuing with the second one. Question one, why was there a a difference of opinion among the four friends. The answer is, there was a difference of opinion among the four friends because each one of them was describing only a part of the big animal. They all had their own view of what the elephant was like. Each of them thought that he was right. Again, I'm repeating children. There was a difference of opinion among the four friends because each one of them was describing only a part of the big animal. They all had their own view of what the elephant was like. Each of them thought that he was right. Now I'm going to start with question number two. Question number two of exercise three, that is think and answer the question. Now question two is, do you... Agree that the four friends represent people who are inflexible in their 
thinking. Now this is question number two and what does this mean? Now, ab aap isko beta, dhyan se samjho. Do you agree that the four friends represent people who are inflexible in their thinking? Is lesson mein jo four friends hai, wo duniya mein kuch aise log hai, unko represent karte hai, jo soch lete hai, wo usi pe aade rahte hai. Wo jara bhi apni soch mein badlao nahi karte hai. To ye four friends un logon ko represent karte hai. Hai na? ये पूछा गया है क्या हम इससे एग्री करते हैं सो आर आंसर विल बी यस यस आई एग्री है ना हम मानते हैं ये फोर फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज दे वर आर्ग्यूइंग वो मानने को ही नहीं तैयार थे कि जैसा उन्होंने टच किया उनको लग रहा था कि वो ही बॉडी पार्ट के जैसा एलिफेंट है बट एलिफेंट वॉज समथिंग डिफरेंट So yes, I agree that the four friends that the four friends represent people who are. Inflexible who are inflexible in their thinking because they do not examine a matter from all sides they believe b e l i e v e believe certain things to be fact without verifying without verifying the source so this is the answer the answer is yes i agree that the four friends represent people who are inflexible in their thinking because they do not examine a matter from all sides hai na ye four friends un logon ko represent karte hain jo apni soch mein jo unhone soch liya bas wo usi pe ade rehte hain wo dusre ki baat sunne ko samajhne ko taiyar hi nahi hote inflexible jo matlab jo jara bhi ab tas se masno jo usne socha wo wohi karega jisko kehte hain na jiddi hona jo thaan liya bas wohi karna dusre ki baat na sunna na samajhna अपनी सोच में वो इनफ्लेक्सीबल किस में इन देर थिंकिंग बिकॉज दे डू नॉट एग्जामिन अ मैटर फ्रॉम ऑल साइड क्योंकि वो उन्होंने जो सोचा उनको लगता है वो चीज वैसी ही है वो किसी भी मैटर को चारों तरफ से हर एंगल से नहीं देखते दे बिलीव सर्टन थिंग्स टू बी फैक्ट विदाउट वेरीफाइंग दी सोर्स और वो कुछ चीजों को एकदम सच मान लेते जाने बिना भी कि वो सच है कि नहीं है ना जो उनको लगा बस वो मान लिया क्या सच है क्या नहीं वो जानने की कोशिश भी नहीं करते क्योंकि वो बहुत रिजिड है अपनी थिंकिंग में वो एकदम फ्लैक्सिबल नहीं वो बदलते नहीं है सो so यस yes, ये हमारा आंसर उन लोगों को रिप्रेजेंट करता है दिस लेसन जो फोर फ्रेंड्स है वहां पे 
कि जो बहुत रिजिड है अपनी थिंकिंग में जो जरा भी अपनी सोच में बदलाव नहीं करना चाहते सो आई एम गोइंग टू रीड दिस क्वेश्चन वंस अगेन सॉरी डू यू एग्री दैट द फोर फ्रेंड्स रिप्रेजेंट पीपल हु आर इनफ्लेक्सिबल इन देयर थिंकिंग द आंसर इज यस आई एग्री दैट द फोर फ्रेंड्स रिप्रेजेंट पीपल हु आर इनफ्लेक्सिबल इन देयर थिंकिंग बिकॉज दे डू नॉट एग्जामिन अ मैटर फ्रॉम ऑल साइड्स they believe certain things to be fact without verifying the source clear again i am repeating the answer yes after year students please don't forget to put a comma yes i agree that the four fr friends represent people who are inflexible in their thinking because they do not examine a matter from all sides they believe certain things to be fact without verifying the source i hope all of you have written so now i'm going to erase this and write the next question please draw a parting line after each answer children now question number 3 is is it a good thing is it a good thing to be rigid R rigid matlab जो सोच लिया वो ही करना अपने जिद पे अड़े रहना अपनी बात पे अड़े रहना इन आर थिंकिंग क्या हमें अपनी सोच में रिजिड होना चाहिए कि हमें अपनी सोच ब, बदल लेना चाहिए दूसरों की राय के हिसाब से तो क्या एक अच्छी बात है कि हमें अपनी सोच में जरा भी बदलाव नहीं करना चाहिए इट इज अ नॉट अ गुड थिंग सो आर आंसर विल बी नो it is not a good thing no it is not a good thing to be rigid in our thinking because everyone looks at things from different angles har ek ka kisi bhi cheez ko dekhne ka nazariya alag hota hai aur hame har kisi ki soch ki respect karni chahiye we should appreciate we should appreciate other people's opinion we should appreciate other people's opinion this will help us in improving 
in improving our relations. This is the answer. The answer is no comma. Beta answer mein jab bhi hum yes ya no likhte hamesha we put a comma after it. So no comma. It is not a good thing to be rigid in our thinking. Hume apni soch mein jara bhi jid nahi karni chahiye. Aade nahi rana chahiye apni soch mein ki jo hum soch hai wo sahi hai. Why? Because everyone looks at things from different angles. Kyunki har kisi ko अपने अलग नजरिया होता है किसी भी चीज को देखने का जरूरी नहीं जिस ढंग से हम सोच रहे हैं अगला भी उस ढंग से सोचे ठीक है वी शुड अप्रिशिएट अप्रिशिएट करना तारीफ करना अदर पीपल्स ओपिनियन कोई क्या सोच रहा है हमें उसकी तारीफ करना चाहिए ना कि उससे बहस करना चाहिए कि नहीं तुम गलत सोच रहे हो क्योंकि उसका किसी चीज को देखने का नजरिया अलग है और हमारा नजरिया अलग है तो राधर देन आर्ग्यूइंग हमें उसको अप्रिशिएट करना चाहिए उसकी तारीफ करना चाहिए दिस विल हेल्प अस इन इंप्रूविंग आर रिलेशन इससे क्या होगा हमारे रिलेशन जो हमारे संबंध है दूसरों के संग वो सुधरेंगे और अगर हम दूसरे को क्रिटिसाइज करेंगे कि अरे ये सही नहीं सोच रहा है हम जो सोच रहे हैं वो सही कर रहे हैं उससे हमारे रिलेशन खराब होंगे क्लियर सो आई एम रिवाइजिंग दिस क्वेश्चन थ्री is it a good thing to be rigid in our thinking the answer is no it is not a good thing to be rigid in our thinking because everyone looks at things from different angles we should appreciate other people's opinion this will help us in improving our relations i hope all of you have written students so once again i'll erase and i'm going to once again i'll revise and then i'm going to erase it sorry question 3 is it a good thing to be rigid in our thinking the answer is no it is not a good thing to be rigid in our thinking because everyone looks at things from different angles we should appreciate other people's opinion this will help us in improving our relations so students i hope all of you have written so now i'm going to erase this please draw a parting line after each answer fine and now i'm going to start with framed sentences so from a new page we will be using the words new words which we have read in this lesson and we will be revising their meanings and framing sentences on the new words clear okay now give the heading frame sentences okay fine now the first word is argue the first word for framing the sentence is argue and what do you mean by argue argue means to quarrel fight karna hai na bahas karna quarrel karna ladna so the meaning of argue is quarrel hai na yahan pe quarrel hai actually to argue karna matlab bahas karna hota hai na so the sentence is i am not i am not in the mood to argue कभी कभी कोई हमसे कुछ बोलता है तो हम ऐसे बोलते हैं ना अभी मेरा बहस करने का मूड नहीं अभी मेरा लड़ने का मूड नहीं है बोलते हैं कि नहीं इट हैपेंस सो दी फर्स्ट वर्ड फॉर फ्रेमिंग सेंटेंसेस आर्ग्यू एंड आर्ग्यू मींस टू क्वारल एंड आर सेंटेंसेस आई एम नॉट इन द मूड टू आर्ग्यू एंड ऑफन वी से चिल्ड्रन शुड नॉट आर्ग्यू विथ एल्डर्स हम ये भी बोल सकते हैं बच्चों को बहुत आदत होती है ना कुछ गलती करते हैं लेकिन वो अपनी बात नहीं मानते हैं है ना वो बराबर आर्ग्यू करते रहते हैं सो आर्ग्यू मीन्स टू क्वारल एंड यर रिसेंटेंस इज आई एम नॉट इन अ मूड टू आर्ग्यू आफ्टर दिस ईच सेंटेंस यू नीड टू ड्रॉ अ पार्टिंग लाइन यूजिंग अ स्केल एंड पेंसिल क्लियर so first word is argue the meaning is to 
quarrel and the sentences are not in the mood to argue now the second word is opined opinion means to give opinion apni rai dena fine and the sentences the teacher opined the teacher opined that the picnic would make a nice change this is the sentence fine the word is opined and opin means gave an opinion apni rai dena apni kisi ko kisi cheez pe salaha dena theek hai and teacher ki kya rai thi hai na because roz roz padhte padhte bahut bacche monotonous feel karte hain to teacher thought the teacher opin that the picnic would make a nice change ki bachcho ko agar picnic pe le jaya jaye to that would be a good change for them so the word is opin which means to give opinion and the sentences the teacher opin that the picnic would make a nice change i hope everyone has done then the third word is tame and tame means gentle tame means gentle so and the sentences it is difficult it is difficult to tame a tiger it is difficult to tame a tiger the word is tame the meaning is gentle and the sentence is it is difficult to tame a tiger okay now the fourth word the fourth word is appreciate appreciate matlab tareef karna praise karna to praise someone and the sentence is koi hamari madad karta hai to hum uski tareef karte hain ki nahi so i appreciate sorry i appreciate your help very much i appreciate your help very much fine the word is appreciate and appreciate means to praise and then the next word is eager eager means curious koi bhi cheez bahut janne ki utsukta rakhna to that is eager e a g e r eager okay the sentences the students were eager the students were eager to the students were eager to know their result this is the sentence the students were eager to know their result fine so we have done the frame sentences using all the three new words besides these few new words i have also taken to other words from the lesson that are appreciate and eager appreciate means to praise and eager means curious to know janne ki utsukta jisko hum kehte hain fine so i will once again revise all these five sentences children and please draw a parting line after each sentence and remember you must begin a sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop you must begin a sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop
Okay, the first word is argue. Argue means to quarrel and the sentences are not in the mood to argue. The second word is opined and the meaning is to give opinion and the sentences the teacher opined that the picnic would make a nice change. The third word is tame. Tame means gentle. And the sentences it is difficult to tame a tiger. Then the fourth word is appreciate. Appreciate means to praise. And the sentences, I appreciate your help very much. Then the fifth word is eager. Eager means curious to know. And the sentences, the students were eager to know their result. So students, that's all for today. I hope all of you have completed all the question and answers and frame sentences in your English notebook. That's all for today. Do Read the lesson and revise and learn the thought exercises. Thank you students. Good day ahead.